Today we will be looking at a review of order of operations. Most of you know this as using PEMDAS or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You will need to get your square notes that you should have received from your teacher. Um, we are going to fold along the dotted lines. Hopefully yours turns out better than mine. And we are going to start with the flap that says complete all operations inside the blank first. We're going to fold that flap down and on the back we are going to write parentheses. Then you will go ahead and draw a visual and we're going to write number one here and circle it. This is going to be your first step in the order of operations. Open this flap and we're going to complete the directions. Complete all operations inside the, obviously that is parentheses. Make sure you follow PEMDAS within the parentheses. Brackets need to come first. You should see these fairly often. If you see brackets and parentheses, you need to complete what's inside the brackets first. I think I forgot an N. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and look at your second step. After P comes the E, and that is for exponents. So go to the flap that says evaluate any exponents. We're going to fold that down and write exponents on there. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and just draw a little visual. Write a two and circle it. That is going to be step two. Okay. Open that up, evaluate any exponents. Evaluate just means to solve. Two to the third power, this is not two times three. We would have written two times three if we wanted that. This is your base. We need that multiplied by itself the number of times that your exponent indicates. So two times two times two. And of course, two times two is four. That four times two will give you the eight. Okay. All right, after exponents comes M and D, which are for multiply and divide. So we're going to fold that flap down and we'll write multiply and divide. Okay, and of course we want to make a little visual. Three and circle. This is your third step. Now multiply and divide are on the same level. So the order is important. You're going to multiply and divide from left to right. And of course, you read in this order. So you're just going to do basically what comes first in the order that you read. And we'll draw a little arrow from left to right. And the same thing's true for your last step, which is addition and subtraction. Let's fold that flap down. And we're going to write add and subtract. Make our little visual beautiful. A four and circle. This is your fourth step. And like we said, this is going to be in the same order as step three. Add and subtract from, you got it, left to right. Basically whatever comes first in the order you read. And we'll draw an arrow to remind us. Now we are going to do two examples together. You should see four examples written in the center of your foldable. I'm going to do model two and four and you'll do one and three on your own. Starting with number two, we're going to look for the first step in our order of operations, which of course is parentheses. And you do see a set of parentheses here, so that indicates we're going to do that first. Twelve plus 6 minus 4, which is, yes, 2. And I'm going to copy everything down. And you don't really need these parentheses anymore, but you can use them if you want. But there's no operation to follow within there, so we're going to go to step 2, which is exponents. And you do see some exponent here, or 1, I should say. 12 plus, luckily that's the one we've already done, 2 to the third is 8. 
Okay, no more parentheses, no more exponents. So let's go to step three, multiply and divide. Okay, I do see some division here. Now if I had both in here, I would just do whatever comes first, left to right. But I just have division, okay? So 12 plus, this becomes 4 minus 1. And your last step, of course, step 4 is addition and subtraction. And since I have two of those, I'm going to do what comes first, left to right. So 12 plus 4, and then 16 minus 1, and our answer is 15. Okay? Now, number 4 is a little bit trickier. This one starts with you see multiplication on top and you see three other um, things going on below, but what do we first do? What do we do first? I don't see any parentheses. This is where you want to insert parentheses because I can't do this division if I don't know what my two values are. So basically we need to figure out our value on the top and our value below. So 6 times 3 is going to be 18. Now, what's below, we need to follow order of operations. Okay, within my parentheses, I do have an exponent here. 2 squared is going to be 4. Now I have addition and subtraction. 4 plus 4 gives us 8. And 8 minus 1, that's going to give us 7. And then now I've got my two values so I can divide. 18 divided by 7. You can either write the decimal or fraction value, but fraction's easiest. 7 goes into 18 two times, which would be 14. And what would be left, if I took 14 out, would be 4. So 2 and 4 sevenths. Okay. Questions 1 and 3, I'm going to have you solve for homework. And then we will check your notes tomorrow.